guys, Kane checking in. This morning, I weighed myself, I was about 198 pounds, um, which is bang on 90 kilos, really. Um, really happy with that, just because I've been dieting for the last five, six weeks. I've actually lost three kilos, which is good for me. Um, just did that by watching my calorie intake. Um, I've been in a calorific deficit for about yeah five six weeks and I've lost three three kilos so that's good um with that though I've noticed I've lost a bit of strength um I did squats the other day I didn't make a video I just went to the gym just did some squats and I noticed that my strength has gone a little bit with squats so today I'm gonna do bench press and just hope that I haven't lost too much weight uh too much strength from bench press um you know obviously if you're not eating the calories, you're going to lose the weight, but you're also going to lose the strength along with it because you don't have the energy to want to go to the gym. And when you do, you're not lifting, you know, you're finding excuses not to give that one extra rep or not to do a bit more. So naturally, your strength tends to drop off a little bit, unless you've got a trainer with you or someone there to push you and make sure you do it. If you go by yourself, you know, mentally, you're not as strong as well. Um, it's amazing how, you know, food and things like that connect. So um, I'm prepared to have lost a little bit of strength on my bench press. Um, just so you know where I was at, I used to be able to bench around uh, 90 kilos flat bench for around eight reps, uh, four sets. So hopefully if I can get anywhere near that today, I'll be happy. Um, I'm prepared to lose at least one or two reps, but if I can get eight eight reps, four sets out, man, I'm I'm more than happy. So um, I'm just gonna do that. Breakfast for me this morning: some lean mince meat with some zucchini, cabbage, carrot. Perfect, man. Nice low fat breakfast. So yeah, catch you guys when I'm at the gym. Um, see what weight I can lift. Peace. Alright guys, just before I head to the gym, I've been asked quite a lot, um, Kane, do you take any supplements? Um, some guys have said, oh mate, you're on steroids, fuck off. No, I'm not. Um, basically, I'm just going to share with you what I take on a regular basis, really. Um, just before the gym, um, I've got a shaker here. It's just got some cordial inside, um, some dilute juice with some um, creatine and deaspartic acid. I'm not going to explain to you what those are, I'll be here all day. Google it, creatine, deaspartic acid, I encourage everyone to take that. Get clearance from your doctor first, just to make sure that you know, you, you're you safe to take those supplements. Um, if you get the go ahead, I recommend it for everyone, it really helps you to reach your goals. Um, creatine, deaspartic acid, I'll drink this on the way to the gym. Um, and just, just for a general health, um, perspective, I take some magnesium compound, magnesium speaks for itself, some green tea, um, I take a few of those, and some um, probiotica, um, that's to digestive well-being and helps with the immune system. So that's literally all I take guys, other than that it's food on water, fully natural. Deaspartic acid, creatine, take it if you can, um, I recommend that. Anyway, I'll be at the gym in 20 minutes. I'll catch you there. Alright guys, Peace. so now I'm in the gym. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I've got 90 kilos on the bar there. Um, yeah, so this is my body weight. I'm banging around 90 kilos. As I said before, eight, eight, um, eight reps is normally where I'm at. I get eight reps out this time round. It was fine. The last rep was hard. And that's when I knew I'd struggle on the rest of the workout. Um, you see now I'm really struggling um, just to get just to finish the eight off. And you see on my face on the way up from this getting off the bench, I know I'm in a bit of trouble. But like I say, I went into this knowing that I'd lose a bit, a few reps. It, you know, so I'm, I'm fine with that. But nonetheless, I carried on. I, I did four sets, and this is a. Uh, Set number two, um, two minutes rest in between guys, I normally, I, I, I should have gone longer, I should have had longer rest, um, three minutes, you know, I think I should have given myself three minutes just to recuperate because I have been dieting, I know I'm not going to lift it, So, but I wanted to do exactly what I used to do just to see where I'm at, if I gave myself that extra minute, it's not really a fair test, so 
Yeah, I think I only got five out here. I wanted to go for six, but I don't think I would have got the bar back up. And without a spotter, it's pretty risky. It's pretty dangerous. But yeah, um, my second my second set, I've lost three reps. Um, you know, this is my third set now. I can't quite remember how many I did, but um, I just know I didn't get the eight out that I used to be able to get. So, like I said, guys, you know, I was expecting that to happen. Um, you know, my form's fine. It's nothing to do with form. You know, um, that's one, two, three, four. I get five out, guys. Um, yeah, just just one recommendation, guys. You know, if you're gonna if you're gonna diet, just bear in mind that you're gonna lose some strength. You know, you're going to look good in the mirror, you're going to look fantastic in the mirror. But just then when you go to the gym, just know that you're going to lose strength. Because if you go to the gym expecting to be able to lift the same weight, it's going to put a downer on your session. You're going to think, what the fuck is going on with me? You know, like you think, oh, I'm not really making all these gains. It's just, you know, smoke and mirrors. But, you know, your body looks good in the mirror, but you're going to lose some strength. Can't stress that enough. You can get it back easily get it back so what I'm gonna do now this was just a tester for me I don't normally slap 90 kgs on the bar I normally drop it down to 75 80 and I work in the hypertrophy rep range so I normally do nine or ten reps but just putting nine on the bar for me is just a, it's just a test just to see where I'm at it's a good marker for me I gauge it around my body weight but 90 kilos is my marker I like to bench it I like to um, gauge it off 90 kilos so I did my four reps, guys. Um, I didn't make eight, eight set, eight reps twice, but it doesn't matter. What I've done now is I've just um, loaded the bar with 60 kilos, and I just burn out my chest, really. Um, yeah, I just burn out my chest. I do as many as I can um, with 60 kilos. I think I did it three times. I think I, I didn't record one because one of my mates was there. I was talking to him, so I think I missed one there. Uh, one one set there but nonetheless um, just a bit about the gym where I go to guys hopefully I'll be working there um, in the next couple of months because um, I'm good friends with one of the guys that that works there already and he knows that I'm doing my personal training so hopefully once that all goes through a boom I'm in there, I'm working, that's the guy there, fuck he's big man, he's, I think he weighs about 120 kilos and he benches about 130, the guy's an animal, um, absolute animal, he's all upper body though, but anyway, enough of that, you'll hate me when I say that, but, so obviously, um, every time I go to the gym, I always work arms, never miss out on arm day, um, do the curls for the girls, Perfect form with arms, guys. I can't stress that enough. Lock your arm at the bottom. Like, engage the tricep. Maximize the time under tension. It's really, really important just to maximize the time under tension. Um, get a good stretch as well. When you get to the top, give it a bit of a tense and curl that wrist round. You get an extra... I don't know what it is. It's really weird, but you get an extra kind of contraction when you curl, curl your wrist at the top. I haven't done it in the first couple of sets. I forgot to do that but you notice I think it's in my second set I only get around five out because I'm actually doing it and it makes a huge difference the thing is people think oh I'll do this it makes it easier you don't want to make it any workout easy you want to make it harder it's the only way your muscles grow make it harder you know don't look at your triceps and don't curl your wrist at the top it makes it easier you can do more now lock out your tricep curl your wrist at the top it makes it harder that's what you really want to do because then you'll get better, you know. Anyway, guys, I'm. Uh, that's enough for me. The rest. Um, this was really just to cover the the uh, the bench press on my chest. See where I'm at. Um, yeah, you guys enjoy the rest of the video. I'll do a few more exercises. Um, yeah, like and subscribe in the link below. And yeah, catch you later. Peace.